Part of the rebuilding process is bringing positive change to the community. Casey Hirado talked to one local group providing some job training. Casey. That's right, Courtney. There may be no greater sign of economic frustration than this burned down gas station here in Sherman Park. Even though there are no quick solutions, there is one group that's trying to rebuild the community by building its workforce. Sometimes it takes a wake up call. The judge told me either you get a job or you go to jail. To make a change in a city where 84,000 households have incomes less than $25,000. I've been an entrepreneur ever since 22 years old. Rashad Washington became a dad before he could graduate school. His dad wasn't around, his mom worked all the time. He says those are barriers for other Milwaukee kids too, keeping them from learning what they need to get good jobs. The economy is a fast moving train, and if you don't have the education or skills to catch it, the frustration just builds. Milwaukee ranks eighth in concentrated poverty. Tim Sheehy, the president of the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce, says Milwaukee faces a great challenge. What we have is a growing mismatch uh, between the kinds of jobs that are being created and the skills that are there. It's become Washington's purpose through his business, Pro trade job development. Having the integrity to say no or something's wrong. He and his team are molding young people. Have that high level of integrity, you know, with the employer as well. Into the kinds of workers employers want with a sense of community and construction skills. These are people that are saying they're committed to changing their own lives. Washington leaves the writing on the wall. Change is a choice and success is possible. Washington says their goal is to create careers for their students. They've had about 200 go through the program with a 70% employment rate. Live in Sherman Park, Casey Geraldo for today's TMJ4. All right, Casey, thank you.